Today I'm going to show you how to sew a super adorable and easy baby tie bib. The pattern for this bib comes in multiple sizes from newborn to toddlers. On the front, I like to use cotton and on the back, you wanna use some kind of absorbent material. And for the ties, you can use any half inch or smaller uh, ribbon or fold over elastic. I'm using fold over elastic. And if you go down below to the link in the description box, it will bring you to the pattern pieces that you can print at home. Go ahead and print those, cut them out, and cut, trace and cut it on your fabric for your top piece of your bib. So here's the top of my bib. The first thing we're going to do is place the ribbon on each of the shoulder pieces. This is the front of the ribbon. Well, really it's fold over elastic. I like it because it's stretchy, but you can also use ribbon. And here is the back. You want to have the back side facing up and you're gonna place it right mid center on each shoulder piece, making sure that it overlaps about a fourth to a half an inch. Pin or clip it in place and do the same thing for the other side. Again, you want the front of your ribbon facing down and the back of your ribbon facing up. The link in the description box with the pattern pieces will give you the cutting dimensions for your ribbon. After you have them pinned or clipped in place, you're going to get the back of your bib fabric. Again, you wanna use an absorbent material. I'm using flannel. You can also use terry, a bath towel. You can use minky, just anything absorbent. Cotton Chanel is also a great one. So you're going to lay your bib with the right side facing down so that your absorbent fabric and your front bib fabric are facing each other. Line it up and then you're going to adjust your pins or your clips so that you sandwich those ribbon pieces together and then you are going to pin or clip around the entire rest of your bib. Make sure to put your ribbon pieces in the center of your bib right in between the two layers of fabric so that way you don't sew those on accident. I like to place a pin right in the middle of the neckline so it doesn't move while I'm sewing. And the two clips that you see here on the side, go ahead and pin or clip in that same spot because you are not gonna sew that area here in a minute. Pin, the cl pin or clip the rest of your bib. And then starting at that spot that you're not gonna sew, sew all the way around your entire bib using a 3 8 inch seam allowance, making sure to leave that two to three inch gap right there on the side. Here's what it looks like when I'm all finished. The next thing I'm going to do is cut off my excess fabric, making sure not to cut any fabric that's right there at the hole opening. Now we're going to cut small slips up to the stitch line around any curve point of your bib. This helps so when you flip it right side out, your fabric doesn't pucker and it lays nice and flat around those curves. When you're going around those curves sewing, make sure that you use a small stitch and you sew slowly. This will help you to rotate your fabric as you're sewing. The next thing we're going to do is flip this right side out, go to the opening there at the bottom, and go ahead and push that first shoulder piece through the opening and grab that tie. Then you're gonna to go to the other shoulder piece and flip that through the whole opening by grabbing the tie as well. Now go ahead and flip the rest of it right side out and smoothen out all of the seams. You can use your finger, a clothes pen, whatever you have on hand. I like to use a chopstick and smoothen out every single seam there is so that it lays nice and flat. Now, since you're using ribbon for your ties, go ahead and grab a lighter and you're going to gently just place that flame over the ends of your ribbon. This is gonna help that ribbon not to fray. Now we're going to work on the final step, which is closing that opening that you have there on the side of the bib. Go ahead and put your two pointer fingers inside of the opening and it should automatically flip your fabric inward so that it's flush with the rest of the fabric on the outside of your bib. You can use some sort of fabric glue to close this if you want to. I've even seen people use hot glue if you're not too confident in your top stitching skills yet. But I like to top stitch all the way around starting at the opening using about a 1 4 inch seam allowance but just try to stay close to the edge. 
And now we are finished with this bib. You can see here, I used about a 1 8 to 1 4 inch seam allowance going all the way around, sewing slowly, lifting my presser foot anytime I meet a curve that I can't move my fabric through and putting it back down to finish sewing. Now you just tie it at the neck and you are completely finished. And here is my little visitor buddy, Genevieve. And now all you have to do is like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see all of my super easy sewing tutorials that go along with all of the Aloha Sewing Company patterns. And a disclaimer, also, just because I'm a nurse and a mom of four, never leave baby unattended with any baby products, especially your bibs and bibs with ties.